good morning y'all welcome and welcome back to the channel um so it is currently hold on this is such an ugly angle but it's currently 721 can y'all see it's currently 721 i woke up at 6 30 because i have to get my kid ready for school like normally i'm waking up at four what time i normally wake up for it is it three yeah normally i'm waking up at three o'clock in the morning for work so this feels so good to be waking up at 6 30 opposed to three o'clock um i'll tell y'all why later on but um yeah so today's gonna be a little morning routine a little day in the life kind of thing so i hope you all enjoy before we get into the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe so yeah, let's get out of bed and do some of ourselves now connected to kiki two Um, anyway, so I'm about to make breakfast. I want to just make a bagel, some eggs, and then we do have some strawberries and grapes, so I might eat a little bit of that with my bagel and my eggs and some iced coffee on the side. Is that Lynn doing that line? Is that sun doing too much? I don't know. But um, before I start all that, I'm just saying what I have to do today. I don't have to do much besides return my other phone that I got from T Mobile um, because I did switch over to Verizon. Uh, so I do have to turn my phone back. Well, I I don't like have to like I'm not saying just because you switch you have to but I traded my phone in for the 14 which I probably shouldn't have done like my phone was paid off with T-Mobile but um I was like it's just gonna give me more money off but I shouldn't have done because it barely gave me any money off so whatever and speaking of that I need to find, find out what my bill is due so I have to go do that um I have to finish editing yesterday's video that video will be up before y'all see this video um, that video was doing my hair, doing different hair growth methods for my hair. Um, the video was starting out so good. I'm super proud of myself. Um, but yeah. And then, that is literally the only thing I have to do today besides, and then also later I have to go pick up my kid. I have to finish handling some stuff for, some personal stuff for me. Um, which I'm super excited about, but I can't tell y'all yet. Um, so yeah. I don't really have much to do today besides, oh, also um i want to tell y'all why i'm like not waking up at three o'clock in the morning anymore for work so uh i did talk about this kind of in my last video but uh the one that's gonna be up before y'all see before this one so february 10th i was in the hospital i was bleeding a lot like i was passing out on the floors and stuff at the hospital ended up getting a blood transfusion uh they sent me home which i think they should have kept me overnight but whatever we're here now so they ended up sending me home that same day i got the blood transfusion i was going um my levels were terrible like like my h and h was very terrible it was it was ridiculous but anyway so they ended up sending me home that day and then fast forward a week and a half or so later 
um still i'm still bleeding i'm thinking this is normal it's all been like maybe almost two weeks i'm still bleeding i'm thinking it's normal like i'm bleeding from like my you know my hoo-ha so i'm thinking it's normal like hey i'm bleeding you know whatever nobody didn't tell me anything so i'm still bleeding and it was like a what's the word for like a constant flow of blood like it wasn't changing or anything but then let's see last friday i think yeah last friday i was at work and like i just felt like like gushes of blood like gush of blood like just coming out like blood like i was this is cmi y'all if y'all don't want to hear this fast forward but yeah so like blood clots and everything and it was terrible so i had a doctor's appointment that day anyway for like the same things like my iron and all that so uh i go to the doctor i was supposed to have an appointment with my OBGYN, but it got canceled because they had a gas leak so yeah, so that Friday I had a doctor's appointment. I get there, he asked me how I'm feeling. I'm like, I'm barely making it. Look, I'm barely making it because I have been suffering from headaches and everything. Like, it was crazy. So, um, I get there and he's, I'm telling him what's going on. He's like, okay, I'm definitely going to get in contact with the OB. So he gets in contact with the OB. I go, wait, they took, they ended up taking my blood, uh, just to see what everything is at, like how it's looking. So I go home, I get a call from the OB. And they tell me, hey, the doctor said to go to the hospital, go to the emergency room right now, not the emergency room, go to the hospital, tell them you're going to do like an ultrasound and you're going to get like blood taken and yada, yada, yada. I'm like, okay, cool. Get there. Um, I go, I go to the front. The lady's like, um, we don't do that after five o'clock. You got to come back tomorrow. I said, well, the doctor just sent me here. So it's stat. So she's like, okay, call the people, tell her, tell them I'm here. So I get there. Grossest thing ever, y'all, the ultrasound. Let's not even talk about it. That was the grossest thing ever. So, do the ultrasound. Um, I didn't even get my blood taken because she was like, since they already did that at the doctor's office, you're good. We'll just look at it there. So, I get to do the ultrasound. I'm waiting for the results or whatever. The, the OB calls the ultrasound tech. And the ultrasound tech gives me the phone. He's like, hey, this is the doctor on the phone. I'm like, okay, cool. Doctor's like, hey, you're not going home. You're staying overnight. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I wasn't planning on it, but okay. So, he's like, you're staying overnight, yada, yada, yada. So I stay overnight, have surgery in the morning. Um, he's like, yeah, we're going to do surgery. Ended up getting surgery the next morning. Y'all, when I tell you that anesthesia had me knocked out, I, I'm like, did they even do anything? Like, it's just so crazy how anesthesia works. Because I remember, like, listening to the doctors talk and, like, me responding. And then I was just out. Like, I don't know what happened after that. But it's crazy how that works. So, yeah. So now I'm out of work for two weeks. <laughs> so I don't go back to, like, the 10th or the 11th. But, yeah, I'm out of work for that long. And honestly the things that's been happening i'm like bro i'm taking this as a sign because there's something i've been wanting to do but i'm not going to tell y'all because you know i can't tell people all my all my moves but yeah so that's what's going on with me i'm out of work for two weeks and honestly baby i'm living a life like being able to get my kid ready for school in the morning being able to pick him up from school that's the life that i want to live like f a nine to five like <laughs> ain't not working with a nine to five but like i love like being able to do this because I haven't been able to do this in so long like the jobs that I've been working like when I was working like uh, in the hospital as a nursing assistant I was working a 12-hour shift baby I would miss like the whole day then I started going to school so I was definitely missing the whole day I'd be going from 6 o'clock in the morning to like 11 o'clock at night so I would not see my baby at all so I was just like this is the life that I love to live like I, I love it I love it but anyway I'm doing way too much talking so I'm about to make my breakfast and just show the whole process hello stranger it's been a minute since we last did but wait just got in town and I won't let you me this crowd all in the sky doing my life So 
so the good thing about being off for two weeks is being able to catch up on like your shows and everything but i literally caught up on like everything and i mean everything i'm ready to take the time to do something to my head the good thing about being off for two weeks is being able to like watch your shows and everything that you weren't able to watch because you work all the time um well i caught up on all my shows and i literally have nothing else to watch i'm just waiting on one more show so i'm basically just hoping that my favorite youtubers post so i can watch them i'll be bored like i'm like just going back and forth from tiktok instagram twitter like i literally go back and forth back and forth all day i don't talk to nobody um literally i don't talk to nobody like my friends will check up in on me i'll check up in on them that's like literally the only thing like my phone be dry like my phone used to be booming when i was young i don't know what happened but it's cool y'all i'm not tripping um yeah i'm not tripping because i mean i don't need anybody in my life who's gonna waste my time and things like that so but we're not gonna get into that we're not gonna get into no relationship talk we ain't worried about no relationship we worry about ourselves girl self-love anyway so i'm done eating i didn't finish like i literally had this little piece of bagel but i couldn't finish it because i feel like it's sitting on my chest um so i'm about to just watch a little bit of youtube um see if my ipad is charged so i can edit a little bit well yeah i'm gonna edit first and then go do my hair and maybe take and probably take a shower um because i might have to go change my mom's tire later on not me i'm not changing it myself i'm taking it to the shop so they can change it So this is the video that I'm editing from yesterday. The quality came out so freaking good on this video. Like I'm definitely getting better at like angles and all that good stuff. And just, you know, know what I want, you know, from YouTube out of YouTube. But hold on, this light is in the way. Does this make it better? I don't know. But yeah, this is my shower video. I think the only thing that I have left to do is just really finished like music and this is kind of like a voiceover video so i just have to finish doing like my voiceovers i don't remember what okay so yeah so like my voiceovers are sounding so good let me show y'all so this is definitely where I try to detangle when I have my conditioner in. I try to finger detangle, but I always have to go back in with like a detangling brush or something. My like armpits that. look very hairy, but I hair promise they're not, y'all. Not detangle, but tangle a lot, which is very annoying. Um, I definitely need to go cut my hair and do something. But yeah, so just make sure y'all go watch this video. This video will definitely be up by the time y'all see this video that I'm filming right now. I feel like I worked really, really hard on this one. So y'all go give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. And if you're new to this video, go watch the last video and make sure y'all subscribe. Be on disability, but they need disability.
got out the shower. I'm about to try to do my hair. I want to do like a half up, half down type of thing, but like in a clip, with the top area in a clip, you know. So we're going to try that. I'm not going to really show y'all that just because that's a really a boring process and I don't want to take up too much of y'all time. So I'm going to just show y'all what it looks like once I'm done. Uh, I think that light is too harsh, but let's see. Oh, oh, dang, never mind. It hurt my eyes so bad. Anyway, so this is what the hair is looking like. Let me put y'all on top of the tripod. So this is what the hair is looking like. Let me turn my head so I can see the clip. I don't know if y'all can see it. I can't really. But yeah, I put the clip in the back. Maybe if I turn this way. The clip is in the back right here on the ponytail. But it came out really good. I just really wish my hair would just not shrink as much. Like, I like it to be, like, by my shoulders. But it just shrinks. But it's okay. I'm not tripping on it that much. But, um, yeah. So, that took me way too long. Like, 30 minutes. So, yeah. I'm, like, leaving this hair selling for some days now. Because it's calling me. Anyways. So, yeah. I'm about to, oh wait, my video just got done saving, so I'm about to upload it to YouTube, get that uploaded, and then make my thumbnail, and then my Wi-Fi sucks ass, so it might take all day to upload this video. I'm really hoping that it doesn't because nobody's home, nobody's playing the game or anything, so we should be good. I'm not sure what I want to, oh wait i not sure what I really want to title it, and I really need to figure out how to um, make thumbnails, like, using my camera. Like, I can take pictures on my camera, but, like, there's, like, a thing called, like, a still image, I think. Um, like, a still image that you can do, and I need to figure out how to do that. Because at this point, the mo at this moment, I'm just, like, screenshotting. This looks so good. I don't know what I want to title this. See, trying new hair growth methods. Okay, I'm going to put it on private for now. No, unlisted. We're going to do unlisted and then let that upload. So this is what it looks like. Let me see. So this is what it looks like. I tend to get copyright claims. Can y'all see that? Copyright claims on all my videos and I'm so tired of it. Um, this video did so well. But the only reason why I think it did well is because the Brazilian wax. Like there's a bunch of creeps on here. Um, but anyway. I tried to try new hair growth methods. I might change it uh, after I do like my thumbnail. I'm not sure. But yeah.